say that it feels right Hey guys, welcome back for another Clash Royale video. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at some top ladder bridge bam gameplay shared by Ice Plus. He recently hit top eight uh, in ladder, so I reached out to him, and uh, he was kind enough to share some replays with us. And he's using this deck to reach top eight in the world, which is actually quite um, crazy if you think of it, because he's not playing Goblin Drill, thankfully. So, and he shared. A lot of uh, awesome replays which um, I think you guys will enjoy because there are a lot of big names you guys will know and yeah before the video starts don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and don't forget to follow Ice Plus on Twitter with that out of the way let's jump right into the first replay okay first game against Oyasu I, I'm pretty sure you guys know who Oyasu is so yeah <laughs> well Ice Plus wasn't happy about it because um, he's facing Oyasu. Oyasu is like one of the best, uh, one of the best cycle players uh, in the world right now, and he's playing this RG deck, which I uh, had a video with Furkan Arabache a couple weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago, and you probably see it on the top of your right screen right now. There's a card, I believe. Yeah, and let's see how Ice Blast will deal with this matchup. So. Um, yeah, since Oyasu spent that much elixir on the right lane, Ice Blast is gonna apply pressure on the left lane, which the ramp will actually connect onto the tower, but um, Fireball comes down for Barbarians. And now Bandit tank for the Ghost. He's not gonna use the Heal Spirit to heal Bandit though. Because he knows um, that Oyasu could just easily defend it uh, with Spirits as well as Skellies. So yeah, he didn't. Uh, decide to he decided not to go in with heal spirit right there, and he's just gonna cycle heal spirit, and Oyasu is gonna set up a Tesla. Skeletons pull the buff, and now Ice Ice Blast is gonna play troops at the back, looking for some chances. Ooh, that Royal Ghost is actually very uh, clever, but get caught by the bandit. He knew that um, Ice Blast would want to go in with a uh, high magic archer to snipe down Tesla. And Skeletons to strike. Still got a shot though, magic archer, so Ice Blast is on to a uh, big lead right now. Well, also is gonna apply pressure now with RG as well as the ghost and a ghost as well as uh, Ewis comes down for um, Oyasu's RG's push and now the fisherman is going to pull in the cannon card which Oyasu still has to deal with it with he's going to play skeletons for it and now there's a lot of troops coming down on the, le on the left lane bandit is onto the tower and Rogos is slowly uh, making its way to the tower as well and now he'll split the tank for the fisherman. The bug will tank for the magic archer as well. And magic archer will still get two shots. So bringing down the tower to 437. And yeah, things are looking very great for Ice Blast right now. And Ice Blast is surprising cycling a better end on the right lane. And Magic Archer comes down to snipe the Tesla once again. Fireball for the Magic Archer. Fisherman is gonna pull the better ram. And yeah, Oyasu is gonna apply pressure in the right lane now because there's a lot of troops on on the right lane. Bart Barrel comes down. Goes as well as uh, Ewis and the Bandit to try to stop the RG from getting too much damage. And now a Bandit for um, Oyasu's Ghost. Cannon Card is still tanking for the Bandit. And now a Fisherman has to be played by Oyasu. So Ice Blast is still in the driver's seat though, but keep in mind that Ice Blast doesn't have big spells, so it's actually really hard for Ice Blast to um, win. He has to connect onto the tower or maybe get a few Magic Archer shots. And Fireball comes down for the Magic Archer and uh, uh, Bandit comes down for the Ghost. Dashes onto the Skellies and a second Cannon Cut comes down for Ice Blast. 
Fisherman actually pulled in one of the cannon cards, which uh, got answered by a log. And now the Fisherman pulled itself towards the cannon. Now the heal spirit as well as the real ghost will connect onto the Fisherman and healing up the ghost. Cannon card to snipe away the Tesla and Bandit will get answered by um, the ghost. Battle run comes down to apply pressure. Meanwhile, LS was pressuring on the right lane with RG. E was came down. And the heal spirit is jumping uh, onto the tower. Magic Archer comes down to try to finish off the tower, and he does. So yeah, a very nice game against um, Oyasu. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know him already. Okay, on to our second game against Edulite, who is playing Lumberloon Freeze. This is his um, go-to deck on ladder. So yeah, let's see how Ice Blast will fare with this matchup, because... S Plus only has um, two air counters, which is the E Wiz as well as the MA Magic Archer, and he doesn't have Fireball, so I'm very curious to see how he will deal with this matchup. Um, if you guys remember the the video I uh, made with Rainbow a couple weeks ago, so he actually uh, won against a um, Balloon Freeze deck as well. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I'm pretty sure I'll put a card on the top right of your screen right now. So um, if you guys want to check it out, feel free to do so. The link will be in the description as well. So yeah, the Bedroom will get answered by the E-Drag. Normally in Lumberloon decks, you don't see E-Drag. Instead, you have uh, Baby D, but I don't know it's different, I guess. Um, so the Hughes Prince is actually very unfortunate. It came down a second late, and Nato was wasted by Adelaide, so that was pretty good. And now... Magic Archer and the Road Ghost will finish off the um, Lumberjack and the Bandit will apply pressure alongside with the MA. But the Bowler is on Rage so yeah it's gonna be a quite easy defense for Edulite. So both players are chilling right now and they're just resetting to Okay, Ice Plus will go with Ken Card on the bridge because he knows that Adelite doesn't have Granites right now. Okay, better M to kite the Infernal D. Magic Archer to take it, the Infernal D, take it down quicker. And now Heal Spirit onto the Magic Archer to heal it up. So Magic Archer will kill the uh, E-Drag and now Rogue goes to apply pressure alongside the Magic Archer once again. Magic Archer will get some damage uh, on the tower. Okay, it's actually a lot. And now Bola is played by um, Edulite and now um, Ice Blast went in with Batteram on the right lane and the left lane as well as the cannon card to apply pressure. Now a Magic Archer came down once again to finish up the Bola. Bola does actually manage to get a shot so yeah, that was... Um, very unfortunate, but Ice Blast will keep applying pressure with the ground units. He's gonna activate King with the Real Ghost and now Bola for the Battle Ram. So things aren't looking great for Ice Blast right now because it's Sub Elixir and the Inferno D actually came from the left lane to the right lane. So if Edward wants, he can just make a really big push with um, yeah both on both lanes with the Balloon as well as the Freeze. And the bowler is splashing onto the tower. So nice space out uh, of the units by Ice Plus. And now he's gonna pressure on the right lane. Because the opponent has to spend elixir on the left lane. So yeah, that's why. And Bob's so will take down the tower. One HP left on the tower, but Magic Archer will take the will take the dub for Ice Plus. And yeah, very nice game against Balloon Freeze. Okay, on to our third game against EA Alex, who's playing his signature Ice Fist RG deck with Minor as well as Inferno D. And Ice, Ice is gonna start off the game with um, Battle Ram S. And Alex is gonna respond to it uh, with Ice Fist as well as NATO. And now a Ghost comes down for uh, on the left lane to apply pressure. Minor responds. Heal Spirit to tank for the Ice Wiz and now a Bandit is played to make a push. Heal Spirit is gonna jump onto the Bandit, heal it up a little bit, but it won't do as much. And E Wiz comes down for the Dark Prince. So Fireball is played 
by Alex and now a second Batarang comes down. Zap is played onto the Batarang as well, making sure that it doesn't charge onto the tower somehow. And yeah, the buffs will chop off the Ice Wizard a little bit. And now Ice, Ice is going to play a Ghost at the back. A Heal Spirit as well, and a Bandit also because he doesn't want Alex to activate King for free. Heal Spirit will jump onto everything and heal the Bandit up, but Dark Prince is there to defend for Alex. And now an e -Wiz comes down once again. Fireball onto the e -Wiz and now a uh, Batarim on the right, on the left lane. Meanwhile, Rogos will take, will take care of the Dark Prince. And he knows that Alex doesn't have much elixir right now, so he's pressuring on the right lane. And a failed King Tower activation by Alex, because the bot was there to uh, push the Ghost a little bit, and the Heal Spirit actually jumped onto the Ghost. So yeah, a big damage lead for Ice. And now it's, he's gonna apply more pressure with Bandit while defending against the Ice Wave, and, my, and the Miner is forced out once again. So it's gonna make better and pushes always like on opposite lane to the, to apply pressure and now Magic Archer will try to look for some damage but looks like he won't get it or maybe yeah he will get three shots from the Magic Archer which is pretty huge and now he's gonna play a cannon card as well as it goes for the Ice Wiz and the RG. E Wiz comes down, Fireball comes down uh, for those troops but he Ice knew that and he played a Heal Spirit and now he's gonna pressure opposite lane with Bataram. Dark Prince, Dark Prince in response and now a Bandit as well is played. So okay the cannon card actually get pushed by the Bandit and Ice is gonna take down the tower just like that. And goes for the Dark Prince and there's only 10 seconds left. There's nothing Alex can do and he just decides uh, that he's gonna defend for the rest of the game. And yeah a really, a really nice game against RG. Man I can't speak today for some reason. Maybe I'm too nervous. <laughs> Not too sure, but yeah, very nice game by Ice Blast. Okay, on to our next game against Kevin RA. Um, who's not playing his signature RG Cycle deck today, but he's playing Drill Cycle. And yeah, he's gonna re respond to the battle ramp with Valkyrie as well as Skeletons. And he's gonna apply pressure with his Goblin Drill right now. So Bandit comes down for the Goblins. As well as a Barris plate. Fireball will hit the cannon card and the bandit. So yeah, that was a unfortunate trade for Ice Blast. But it's still very early in the game, so yeah, both players of course will still try. And now Kevin's gonna cycle stuff. The bridge and huge spirit for the fire spirit. Bombo is played. Uh, at the back of the King Tower. So Kevin will play a um, drill on Ice Tower, but uh, Ghost as well as Ken Kart responds. So the bomber, the bomber actually got some damage onto the tower, uh, splashing onto the Ghost, and now he's gonna apply pressure with Batarang as well, opposite lane, and he's gonna get pulled by the Tesla. So the heal spirit will actually connect onto the tower but it's very insignificant compared to the damage Kevin has on uh, Ice's tower. And now Ice doesn't have much elixir to defend against this Goblin Drill. So he's gonna wait for the Drill to get uh, really low on HP and then just buff barrel. And now he's down a thousand damage against Kevin. But the Magic Archer will get two shots on the left tower, on the, I mean the right tower, so yeah, that was pretty huge for Ice. Now he's gonna play a Bedroom at the bridge, which will get pulled by Tesla once again, and a Bomber comes down to finish off the bobs quicker. And he's gonna play a Drill once again onto the tower, which will get answered by the same thing, the Gills as well as the Cannon Card. Bandit will get responded by Skeletons. So a clean 1 for 3 trade for Kevin. And the battle will once again get pulled by Tesla. But the buffs are actually tanking for the cannon card and the tank the cannon card might sneak in. Okay, it actually didn't. But Ice will play this very slowly and he's gonna play a cannon card at the back and Kevin's gonna play 
a Valkyrie mirroring it. And now it goes to cycle at the back as well as heal spirit. Magic Archer is played so that um, fire Fireball doesn't come down, hitting the tower as well as the Magic Archer. Lock is played by Kevin. And now the cannon card will actually finish off the Tesla. So that's pretty huge for the battle ram. And now a second Tesla comes down, but there's a little troop coming down on the right lane as well. The ghost as well as kill spirit, but Lock was too OP. And now Bandit onto Valkyrie to apply pressure. So now Kevin only has 700 damage lead over Ice right now. And Ice will keep applied pressure with his um, battle ram and goes onto the Goblin build as always. So a barrel comes down so that uh, just to make sure the Goblins doesn't get damage onto the tower. And the ghost will actually sneak to the tower bypassing Tesla, but Kevin decides to ignore it to some strong side tower. And now a bad ramp tank for the fast spirits. The goblins will actually go onto the uh, bandit as well as the cannon card. Fireball comes down for the cannon card and scatters in response for a bandit. Now a log is played, so yeah, Kevin's once again back in this game and on the driver's seat. So the ghost will get pulled by the fire spirits and. Yeah, the Tesla is still surviving, so I'm actually very curious how he won it. a high magic archer to take down the Tesla. And now the bandit is charging down the lane. A second bandit on the opposite lane. Ooh, that fireball was a mistake. Kevin didn't hit anything, and the magic archer as well as the bandit is on the tower. The battle ram came down, and the cannon card is locking on, on the life lane. Fireball comes down once again, but magic archer will get a lot of damage onto the tower. And another bandit comes down for Kevin. Now Log is played, but the Rogos will still get a lot of damage despite that and Fireball comes down, a desperate Fireball by uh, Kevin, Magic Archer once again to uh, get some, some more damage and Bandaram as well as Bandit tank for the um, Goblin Drill. Ooh, and yeah, very nice comeback by Ice because yeah, it was towards the end that um, that Fireball on the left lane that uh, Kevin played was he didn't hit anything with it, so yeah, pretty nice game against uh, Kevin R8. Okay, on to our final game against Morton, uh, who appeared in my previous videos as well. So if, if you, I believe it's the RG video. If you guys didn't haven't checked it out yet, uh, feel free to do so. Probably you'll see a card on the right top right of your screen right now, or in the description as well. So yeah, let's see how I s defeated Morton. Now Dark Goblin for the buff, and Morton is playing a bait deck with Goblin Drill, surprise surprise. Valkyrie responds to the ghost, and now Ice is going to play a cannon card and a bad ram to apply pressure, Morton is going to play a Tesla to defend. And he still has to deal with the cannon card though. Skeletons as well as um, the Fire Spirit in response, but the Heal Spirit actually jumped on the cannon card and killed Luna in time. And now Ice Blast will have to deal with the Dark Goblin as well as the Goblin Drill. He plays a very very good bandit and then plays Rogos in response to the drill. So yeah, a very very nice trade uh, for Ice in um, the first minute of the game. So Morton is going to play Skeletons onto the... Onto the Ghost and then... Uh, Ice is gonna, just going to play a Cannon card. Because maybe he thought Morton is going to go into something. And now Valkyrie comes down for the cannon card, Magic Archer, chip it away. Fireball comes down for the Magic Archer, hitting the tower as well. And the bad is played at the back by Ice. So he's gonna support it with... I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what he's gonna support it with, to be honest. He's not gonna support it at all, and instead he plays... Uh, defensive with Bandit as well as the Royal Ghost and the Heal Spirit. 
Now he's gonna do the same thing again. Cannon cut, uh, cycle in front of the King Tower. And now the battle at the back will actually be caught by the Goblin Drill. Okay, um, that, that was pretty weird by Morton to be honest, but um, yeah. Kennecott will finish off the Valkyrie once again and go on counter push. So the opponent, I mean Morton still has to deal with the troops on the left tower, or maybe not. Cause the Dark Goblin will do a great job and the other Valkyrie was to predict the bandit that Morton would play. And the Magic Archer actually took down the um, Dark Goblin and Fireball comes down for the Ghost cause he knew that Ice would play that. Now the heal spirit would jump onto the princess. So yeah, very clean defense by Ice Plus, despite the fireball hitting everything. And now a high magic archer to try to chip away at stuff. Bandit comes down for the Valkyrie, take it off. And now a um, ghost and as well as heal spirit to apply pressure. Bandit's getting a lot of damage onto the tower. Magic archer as well. So getting down the Morton's tower, uh, I mean getting down Morton's tower to 900 health as well as uh, 1000 on the right lane. A Goblin Drew is once again played by Morton, Fire Spirit for the buffs and a Bandit for the uh, Goblin Drew as well as a Barrel. Heal Spirit to jump onto the Dark Goblin, unfortunately not healing up the Bandit. Valkyrie comes down for the troops remaining and now Ice is gonna pressure again with Veteran opposite lane. Cannon cut to defend against Valkyrie as well as the um, Dark Goblin. He misses the Bark Barrel, but it doesn't really matter. And meanwhile, look at the tower on the on the right lane. It's only 376 HP left, and Cannon cut to defend once again. Fireball comes down, heal spirit to soak up the fire spirit damage, and yeah, the Batram and the Bandit will do their stuff, forcing our Elixir for Morton to defend. Now Morton is cycling uh, Goblin Drill relentlessly at this point because that, that's the only way he could win. And Ice is gonna use everything that he has on the Goblin Drill and plays a Batram at the back. Like I said, Morton is gonna try to apply pressure. But I don't think there's time left for him because there's, there's only 7 seconds left. And yeah, just like that, taking out one of the GOATs, Ice Blast. Man. Okay, once again, I want to thank Ice Plus for coming onto the channel, and he really shared some awesome replays. Not gonna lie, cause he played against Morton. I mean, all of them are wins, obviously. He won against Morton and Oyasu, and yeah, that's a pretty big feat, I'd say. And for the last time, this is the deck. Give it a try. Link will be in the description, and I will see you in the next one.